our ancient scriptures prescribe few sanskar to celebrate the various stages in life and mark the passing of that stage that's the reason these sanskars are also referred to as passage rites the rituals associated with sanskar have a spiritual cultural and psychological purpose it is either a process of welcoming an individual into a stage of life or declaring the successful completion of that stage during this ritual the individual was made aware of the privileges and duties of the upcoming stage there are total 40 sanskar mentioned in gautam dharva sutra and 16 sanskar mentioned in griha sutra one of the lesser known but much relevant sanskar is samavartan samavartan is announcing the end of the brahmacharya ashram and formal education this sanskar celebrates the acquisition of knowledge signifying the importance of gyan marg the ritual of samavartan involves the ceremonial bath by the student snatak snan followed by the guru asking for his guru dakshina after the samavartan sanskar the snatak was eligible to start the grihastha ashram returning to one's parents home from gurukul and entering into grihastha ashram followed immediately for some and for few it followed after some time a person who took the ceremonial bath was called a snatak snatak also symbolized the one who has bathed in knowledge there were three categories of snatak vrat snatak vidya snatak and vidya vrat snatak vrat snatak is one who has observed the brahmacharya vrat by proper rule but not completed the study of veda vidya snatak is one who has completed the study of veda but not fully observed the rules of brahmacharya vidya vrat snatak is one who has strictly observed the rules of brahmacharya and completed his study of veda the last category of vidya vrat snatak is the highest form of snatak the samavartan ceremony was celebrated in the presence of teachers other students and guests invited by the teacher once the stage was set the teacher would recite the snatak dharm during the ceremony snatak dharm was a set of principles the snatak needed to follow in his life tatyarya upanishad talks about the snatak dharm in the 11th anubhag of sikshavali in this verse the teacher asked the snatak to take care of themselves and pursue dharma arth and kaam to the best of their understanding and capabilities one part of the snatak dharm of tatyarya upanishad says never err from truth never err from dharma never neglect your well being never neglect your health never neglect your prosperity never neglect swadhyay which is study of veda on our own and pravachan which is sharing the experience gained out of vedic study sanskars are outward symbol of inner change also aiming at teaching virtues sanskar in the hindu tradition is means and not an end it's a means to progress and perfect the human journey of life towards the final goal